Welcome, one and all. Today we are witnessing the 12th edition of the Didi Kosambi Festival of Ideas. This edition will be of four days duration, beginning from today. We have with us today's chief guest, the Honorable Minister for Art and Culture, Sri Govindaji Gaude. We welcome you, sir. We also welcome today's speaker, Ms. Malaika Waj. Ms. Malaika Waj is just 21 years old, and she is National Geographic Explorer, Adventure, and Wildlife Presenter. And we shall be concluding this Festival of Ideas on 23rd January after interacting with Swami Smarnanand Giri the Vice President of Yogada Satsang Society of India, founded by Sri Sri Padmahansa Yogananda in 1970. Let the best towards inculcate the ideas of global peace and prosperity. Thank you. Thank you all. The speaker is uh, Malaika Vaz, who is uh, just 21 year old, was a national award winner. Didi Kusambi is a great mathematician and a Marxist historian who has uh, contributed a lot for uh, the Indian economy. And uh, this is one platform for the budding youths to get the knowledge and to dream high. I welcome on behalf of uh, Director of Art and Culture and being as a Minister of Art and Culture, uh, who has come uh, with a, a great passion and the positive energy with her, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, hope you are going to welcome, uh, you hope you are going to enjoy this uh, session, the lecture, and today's first session. The past couple of years of my life, until the age of 21, um, I've uh, explored different realms from underwater with scuba diving to on the surface of the water with windsurfing to horse riding and flying. And all of these adventures took me to different places, helped me to understand myself better. But I think a couple of years into you know, the field of adventure sports, I began to ask myself about how I could take that experience of being outdoors and make it something that was impactful, to find purpose within this adventure. Because it's very easy to travel, but how do you find meaning within that? So um, when I was about 16 years old, I moved to Maharashtra to study at the United World College in Pune, where there were people from 90 different countries living together. And while I was there, I met this really, really special lady. Her name was Seema Dai. She um, worked along with me at the campus that I was at, and she was a victim of uh, domestic violence and sexual abuse. Every time I talk about her, I choke up because of, I, of the fact that I know that she's doing so well in life right now. So when I was 16, I started this organization called CRIA that works with women who are victims of violence, children from criminally labeled tribal communities, and kids from underprivileged backgrounds. And we have a pretty innovative approach that I find quite interesting. And that's basically to go beyond empowering people by teaching them how to make pickle or teaching them how to sew. It's about instilling a sense of self-confidence where the person can go ahead and do whatever they want in the world. So these are my Kriya girls. They're from different communities in Maharashtra. And these women go through a one year long intense program where they learn how to swim, cycle, hike, do all kinds of adventure sports activities. And at the end of one year, they actually go on an expedition to Ladakh. Um, it's pretty special to see women who have never stepped outside of their village going and summiting mountains at 6,000 meters in the Himalayas. So the one year long training process really helps them to prepare for the expedition. And I think what the expedition does is it kind of gives the girls a sense of confidence about who they are. And when they come back, they're always so inspired to go create a change in the community. 